Taking your own notes in lectures and tutorials is an essential skill that you'll develop during your study at university. There are many reasons for taking good lecture notes. Your notes will become a permanent record of key information. They'll help you to remember what you heard in the lecture. It'll also help you to concentrate and listen effectively as you have something active to do to keep you focused and engaged during the lecture. By taking notes, you're also increasing your understanding of the subject. Noting ideas and information in your own words will help you to consolidate your understanding of key information. You'll then be able to use these notes as research and incorporate them into your assignments and use them to prepare for exams. Preparing to take lecture notes starts well before the lecture begins. By being prepared and having some understanding of the topic, you'll be able to follow the lecture content more easily. Start by checking the unit of study to see what the lecture will be about. See how it fits in with other topics in the course. This will give you a better understanding about the lecture content. Don't forget to check Canvas for any announcements that relate to the week's lecture topic, such as any YouTube videos or podcasts that you may have to watch or listen to. The next step is to be doing any of the required pre-reading. Make a list of any new words, including technical terms and their meanings. Next, you should set up your notebook and documents ready for note-taking. Download your lecture slides before class if available and use them to structure your notes. And you should also review notes from the previous lecture and tutorial. By being prepared before the lecture begins, you'll gain the background knowledge that you need to be an effective listener. Here are some tips to follow once the lecture has started. At the start of the lecture, write the date, topic and lecture week number at the top of each page. Make sure that you also number each page of your notes. Listen carefully to the lecture, but don't write every word you hear. You have to be selective. You don't have to transcribe the entire lecture. Effective note-taking involves recognising key concepts and identifying what is relevant. Listen out for the main argument and note the main points and key information. And develop a system and stick to it, such as using a notebook or a Word document. And finally, simplify your notes by using symbols and abbreviations for frequently used words and phrases. So what should you include in your note-taking? Your notes should focus on the key concepts and main points of the lecture. If the lecturer gives an important example, jot it down in point form. You should also include definitions of key terms and any references provided. If there are difficult or unfamiliar terms, jot them down so that you can look them up after the lecture. It's also helpful to jot down any immediate thoughts and questions that you may have. A really useful and widely used method of note-taking is the Cornell method. Before the lecture, divide your page into four sections. At the top, write down the bibliographic details, including the name and date of the lecture. In the recall column on the left-hand side of the page, write down any cues, keywords, headings or questions. On the notes column, write your lecture notes. Include the main ideas and examples, diagrams and drawings. Remember to write in point form and use symbols and abbreviations. At the bottom of the page, write a short summary of the lecture in your own words. You can do this after the lecture. After the lecture, you should also revise your notes as quickly as possible, as you'll still be able to remember a good deal of what was said. You should aim to reread your notes within 24 hours so that you can recall the lecture. Make sure they're clear and legible. Fix any spelling errors and expand on abbreviations. Fill in missing words or information. Add anything extra that you may have thought of since the lecture and include your own diagrams or mind maps. You should explain and clarify diagrams by writing a simple version of their meaning. Color code your notes and use symbols to make color code your notes and use symbols to mark structure and emphasis. Highlight major sections, main points, and diagrams. And remember to use different colors to emphasize main points, classify different topics, and link concepts or information. Identify anything that needs further clarification and label and file your notes along with any lecture handouts. Good luck with your note taking and enjoy your semester.